Okay, welcome everybody. Welcome to the webinar. My name is Hari Swaminathan and we're going to be looking at how to use algos and customized proprietary code to enhance your trading uh, performance. And so although the sl uh, slide says it's day trading opportunities, we're going to be looking at uh, all kinds of charts, day trading, swing trading, and even a longer term approach where you stay in a trade for maybe two or three months also. Now, if you want to be kept abreast of all the future webinars, you can go to this bit.ly link and you can sign up for the free course there. And then anytime we're having a webinar, you'll be notified there. So welcome again. My name is Hari Swaminathan and I'm the founder of OptionTiger.com. I've been an options trader and or a mentor for about 12 years, but I started Option Tiger in 2012. I also have a Udemy channel and I think many people know me from the Udemy channel where I have over 120,000 enrollments into my courses with a very good review rating. I started out by making options courses and these courses are about 47 courses. They are structured into beginner, intermediate and advanced modules and they cover everything from the basics till the advanced strategies. And then I noticed around 2015 or 16 that you can actually tweak these advanced strategies and that's what I've done with the 10 MAC systems. They're all called uh, MAC systems and they're very elite intellectual property. They're cutting edge uh, techniques and tactics that are built into each of these strategies itself. Then in the last couple of years, I've been developing proprietary algos for trading success. And so, and there's a reason for that. In the last couple of years, what has happened is algorithmic tools, trading tools have been available to the retail level. So algo trading was always there, but it was always with the institutional traders and retail traders really did not have much of an exposure to this. And those things have changed mostly because platforms have improved in their, in their capabilities and also the programming abilities have improved significantly. And so today you have platforms where you can actually build your own algorithms and code it into the charts and indicators. So for example, previously, if you had to cycle through charts and indicators to find out which stock to trade, what is a good stock uh, to trade, whether it's today, this week, whatever it is, how do you cycle through it? And of course, all platforms have the scan function but the scan function can be cumbersome because you have to input parameters like whether it's volume or whether it's liquidity, uh, open interest or you know, the implied volatility and all of that. So uh, it becomes a little cumbersome. And so now these algos can be coded to do the same thing on watch list. And we're going to see all of this on the platform. Specifically today, we're going to talk about the multi time frame trend algo, which plots any given trend on five different time frames on the same chart. This is, a, this is extremely powerful and if you can look at the trend across five different time frames on one chart itself, then you, it gives you so much more confidence to take the trade. And so you'll be seeing this. The SPX intraday ticks algo is a deep market internals. And so what this algo does is it looks at the S&P 500 component stocks and we know that there are 500 of them. And as soon as the markets open in the morning, uh, a cumulative tick is done for all 500 stocks. If, if uh, something is going up, then you know it'll, it'll be a plus uh, tick. And if something is going down, it'll be a minus tick. And so if you maintain a cumulative tick, you can see how the market breadth and the market strength is developing over the trading day. And of course, this is only used for intraday. So the SPX intraday ticks algo will be used only for intraday trading. And we'll look at all of these again. In the day trading and the swing trading algo, these go onto the watch list itself. And so various parameters go into these uh, algos and you can set up a watch list of, of any candidate, of any stock, and it, it'll immediately tell you what are the very bullish and what are the very bearish candidates for that particular time frame, whether it's day trading or swing trading. The main difference is day trading looks at things on a one minute or a five minute level and the swing trading looks at a daily chart. And then we also have the custom RSI, which helps you maximize profit from any trade. We all know that once we get into a winning trade, sometimes we exit too early. And so the custom RSI actually helps you stay in a winning trade as much as you can. Now, of course, we cannot get 100% of the maximum profit, but even if you can get about 75% or 80%, that's a great trade. And so the custom RSI will actually help you get to that kind of performance on winning trades. 
So we'll look at all of this in detail. First, we'll cover the multi time frame trend indicator. This is a very powerful indicator to capture trend across all time frames and it works on any chart. It works for stocks, options, futures, ETFs, gold and bonds, etc. So the key features of the multi time frame trend indicator is that it is very powerful. It is very versatile and it captures trends on all time frames on a single chart. It captures trends on five different levels of time frames. And so once you see this, it will become very clear how easy or how visual this thing is. And it works for intraday trading. It works for long term trading, swing trading, or even on a yearly chart or a two year chart. It works for all time frames and it works on any asset class and any chart. So again, it's a five level deep trend analysis and you can set five different time, time frames on one chart. So example for a day trading environment, you can set the charts at five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes and one hour and it will show you the trend across all those time frames. Or if you're doing a swing trading environment, you can set it up for one day, two days, four days, one week and one month. And so you're going to see this on the platform. And once the market opens at 9.30 a.m. Eastern, we're going to take a look at how all of this plays out in the real market situation as well. And the best thing about the multi time frame uh, trend indicator is that there is a master indicator that shows you when all of these time frames are aligned. So if you can imagine if you're doing day trading, if the five minute, 10 minute, 20 minute, 30 minute and one hour are aligned in the same sentiment, whether it's bullish or bearish, and then it gives you so much more confidence to take the trade and it's all visual. So visual representation makes the trading a no brainer. I mean, trading is never a no brainer activity, but it this makes your trading decisions so much more easier. And of course, you'll also see when to exit on all time frames when we look at the MTFT as well as the custom RSI. And so we'll, we want to exit with as close to max profit as possible. And with these indicators, you can do that. Next, the SPX sticks, as I mentioned, is a deep market internals indicator. And already there are quite a few internal indicators available. So, for example, you have the wall SPD, which is the up volume minus the down volume. You have the advance minus decline. And then you have the ticks also, but the ticks are very noisy and the ticks also happen to be the lowest denominator and most real time data that you can get from the exchange. And so when you add up every tick right from the time the market starts, it indicates gives you a very, very strong uh, indicator for market breadth. And so whether the market breadth is developing strong or it is weak and at, at any given time, what is the market? What is the strength of the market breadth? And that's very important for taking a trade also. And when you combine all of these indicators together, you can get a very complete picture and your level of confidence for taking a trade then you know goes up to 80%. Your probability of uh, you know hitting a winning trade is you know goes up a lot. And then as I said we have the day trading and the swing trading algos. These look at price action, momentum, volume and also price action crossovers across three different moving averages. And then it plots on a watch list itself. It filters out the very bullish and the very bearish candidates. This you can see it real time, especially on the day trading. Once the markets open, we'll see this. You'll see how stocks jump into very bullish and very bearish. So immediately when you see something changing that kind of state, you can take you can take a trade. And so basically what these algos do is that they replace the scan function available on all platforms. Now you don't have to run a scan. This is as soon as you open your platform, as long as you have these algos uh, set into your platform, you'll immediately see which ones are very bullish and very bearish. So the day trading algo obviously looks at intraday parameters, which is basically a five minute chart and the swing trading algo can work in a multi week time frame. So basically we are looking at a daily chart in this case. And then finally, we have the custom RSI indicator. If you know the regular RSI, the relative uh, strength index, it, it has overbought and oversold conditions. However, we have customized this and now the way this custom RSI works is that it goes into bullish or bearish zones. And once it goes into a bullish or bearish zone, it sort of becomes persistent in that zone. And so it tells you to remain in that trade uh, as long as the trend is, uh, is, is playing out. And so you get more confidence that you can stay in a winning trade and exit only at the right time. 
and custom RSI also works for any time frame, any chart, whether it's a day trading, swing trading or longer term. And it also works on any kind of asset, whether it's a stock or, or, a, or a currency or a commodity or a futures. So we'll take a look at all of this. Let's now jump into the platform and the markets are going to open also. And so we'll take a deeper look at all of this on the charts itself now. First, what I have here is the SPX one year daily chart. And so this is going all the way back. If I, if I zoom uh, out of it, you'll see it goes back to last September. And the, what you see at the bottom is the multi time frame. I'm going to zoom in a little so it's easier to see. So what you see at the bottom is the multi time frame in, uh, trend indicator where you see these rows of dots, green, green and red dots. Just above it is the custom RSI. Uh, you'll see custom RSI has two colors. Uh, you know, one would be uh, blue and one would be red when it's to uh, uh, when it shows whether it's in uh, the bullish zone or the bearish zone. Let's talk about the multi time frame trend indicator first. And so you can see the chart is a one year, one day chart. And so once you get into the parameters of these studies, so I'll show you the parameters of uh, the multi time frame indicator. And if you see this part here, you can set your time frames. So what you want to do is, so the lowest, lowest level, the lowest row, the bottom most row is the one day trend, which is the trend of the chart itself. The next row you can see is two days. You, uh, you know, you can see this over your two days. The, the row after that is three days. The row after that is four days. And then the row after that is a one week trend. And so on just on these five rows, you have a clear picture of what the trend is for this particular stock, uh, which in this case is the SPX, uh, and, uh, but it will work on any stock as well. And we'll see that also. So you can see the trend on any, uh, you know, on any stock uh, at five different time frames on the same chart. And so obviously what gives you confidence is when all five are aligned, which, is, which means when all five are either red or green, that means all five time frames are aligned in that trend. And that's when you see this master level indicator right here. You can see some green dots, some red dots, and then there are uh, gaps in between. Uh, the gaps happen when all five are not aligned. So, uh, you know, here you can, uh, you know, you can see that uh, we were in a sort of a bullish trend, you know, post the COVID crash. So if you go back a little bit, you can see the COVID crash over here. And since then, we've sort of been moving up and down. Uh, there was a nice trend here. Uh, you know, as you can see, it went up all the way. And now it's turned a bit bearish here. Uh, this is on the SPX. But now you can even choose any stock and the stock will also tell you what the trends are on the on 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 the on the uh, five different uh, time frames uh, and on this uh, daily chart so what i have here is the swing trade and the day trade columns these are the swing trading algo and the day trading algo so you can see it immediately filters out which ones are the very bullish which ones are the very bearish and then if i sort it uh, you know along the day trading column i can also see on the day trading setup which stocks are the are very bullish and which stocks are very bearish I'm going to go back to the swing because that's the chart we are looking at right now. Swing slash long term investing trading. Uh, so on the swing, you can see we have about three bullish and we have maybe about seven or eight bearish uh, stocks. So if you look at Goldman Sachs, uh, you know, it's it, it says it's very bearish. So it's already it already filters to you on the watch list. So this makes your trading decision what stock to trade uh, so much more easier because you already know the algo has filtered out the best bullish and the best bearish candidates. And so you would want to take a trade that is aligned with, uh, with, uh, you know, with that trend. And you would want to take a trade that uh, where it's been filtered into the very bullish or very bearish. You also have neutral category. You also have uh, bearish and you have bullish also. But you would want to focus on the very bullish and the very bearish because those are obviously the best candidates here. So if you look at Goldman Sachs, yeah, it looks, uh, you know, the chart looks bearish, even on the multi time frame trend, at least uh, for the last, uh, you know, three to seven days, uh, you can see that uh, it's been bearish. So let me zoom in again. I'll go back to the SPX because uh, what we are looking at, uh, you know, we'll, we'll look at the index first and then we can uh, look at any stock that you want. Uh, so on the SPX, current trend is somewhat bearish. We can see that, that you know, this last few days, a uh, couple of uh, weeks has been uh, 
sort of kind of choppy trading, but mostly to the bearish side. It, it hit an all-time high of almost 3,600 about two weeks ago. And since then, uh, it's been coming down. So the custom RSI, the way this works is uh, once you, the custom RSI goes into the bullish zone, uh, you can see that it remains persistent and uh, you know you can stay in this trade. And so the moment custom RSI starts, uh, you know, starts to drop off, you can take off the trade. Now, in all likelihood, you will see that the multi time frame trend will also align with that. So it just gives you uh, more confidence there. And when we look at the day trading setup, we are also going to look at the SPX ticks there. The SPX ticks is an intraday market, uh, uh, you know, market internal. It is not applicable for longer term swing trading kind of things because the market internals are calculated as soon as the market starts and then. Uh, uh, and then it goes on for that particular day. And then the next day can be, you know, a completely set, a different set of ticks. So let me go to that now. I'll go to the swing uh, trading and then uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Let me go to the intraday and uh, you here you'll see that uh, the SPX ticks is also there. So the way the ticks works is as soon as the markets open, all 500 st uh, stocks in the S&P 500 index starts to either tick up or tick down and so the ticks algorithm calculates each one of these you know up tick or a down tick and it does a you know simple up minus down calculation but the interesting thing is after the you know after the first minute we have a reading of somewhere you know close to flat and then it starts to go down a little bit and then this is a cumulative tick and so the, the tick of the previous values is added to the next tick and so that tells you where the ticks are going for that particular time or for that particular trend. And so here you can see by now, once the markets opened yesterday, this is yesterday's charts. Uh, once the markets opened, it started to tick up. And so you can see all these green dots here. And once it starts to tick down, you can, you know, I wouldn't come out just because there is one tick or even two ticks. You want to wait for confirmation and uh, see if, uh, the custom RSI as well as uh, the multi time frame trend also aligns with it. If it does, then it's time to get out. And, uh, you know, yesterday, actually, there was a very nice trend and that was this down move over here. So let me zoom in on that particular thing that happened yesterday and you'll get a better picture and I'll explain this. So first of all, here, if you're looking at this, uh, you want to sort of wait for, uh, you know, uh, wait for the ticks to start uh, developing. Uh, and you want to wait for the custom RSI also to tell you that. So now on the multi time frame, because it looks at five different time frames, the multi time frame trend is generally going to be a little bit slower than these. However, once the multi time frame sets in with all five indicators set, then that is your best uh, you know, indicator saying that now across five different time frames, they are all set. So sure, you, you could have gotten a, gotten into a trade. Let's say I'm just going to put an arrow over here because the SPX ticks turned red two or three dots. So let's say somewhere over here, if you you know if you were uh, uh, if you were to get into the trade after after you see two or three ticks uh, red, and then you you know you see the custom RSI also gone down. Now this would have been a trend that you could have caught all the way. And I and I say don't get uh, you know don't get out of the trade just because you see one or two. You want to make sure that the others are also aligned. And in this case, you can see even though there are two green dots on the on the ticks, the custom RSI is still in the in the bearish zone, and the multi time frame trend is also uh, telling you that it's bearish. And so you would want to stay in this. And this would have been a trend you could have caught all the way, maybe somewhere till here or so. So that would have been from this level, uh, 3369 on the SPX, all the way down to about 3349. So you can imagine that's about 20 points on the SPX. And even if you had gotten out over here, that would have been fine because 20 points on the SPX. And let's say you have a 50 delta and add the money option uh, on the SPX options, a put option, uh, you know, the, on 20 points means this option would have increased in value by 10 points, basically a 50 delta option. And so you can imagine if you had put five contracts, you know, that's a, a clear $5,000 profit right there. So you want to wait for these opportunities in the day trading environment. You want to wait for these opportunities. Make sure all of these are aligned. And once you see the alignment come through, that's when you take a trade. And you can see that on the 
uh, on the multi time frame uh, you, you, it remained bearish all the way although you have one dot one dot in and, and that's fine and that's an individual decision if you think you have enough profits you want to get out of the trade then that's fine but uh, otherwise i would say you would want to see the uh, the multi time frame trend uh, shift on at least two different time frames like over here it shifted on two different time frames and uh, that's when it tells you okay the trend may be changing and then soon enough after 2 minutes you see the third line also changing and then it gets a little bearish over there but uh, you know basically the trend sort of uh, you know flattens out over there so the the big trade for yesterday would have been this one and uh, then let's see after that if we had any uh, decent trading opportunities i think we did uh, you know there was a bullish run right here where all of it was aligned you can see the ticks are moving higher they are they're green and custom rsi nicely in the bullish zone and so is the multi time frame trend indicator so once the multi time frame trend indicator aligns itself on all five time frames then you can in general expect it to go for about at least 5 to 10 bars and so you know on the day trading environment that would be 5 to 10 minutes and then it might run out uh, on the swing trading environment it might be 5 to 10 days and then on a long term uh, you know a setup it might be 5 to 10 weeks uh, so whatever your time frames are you have to set it up that way and so the way you set up the multi time frame trend indicator is uh, you, if you if you put the if you put the daily chart or uh, in this case it's the 1 minute chart and so you can see my configurations are the next highest level config uh, higher level configurations are 3 minutes 5 minutes 10 minutes and 15 minutes whereas if i go back to my swing you'll see that uh it is uh the, the lowest level is one day then you have two days three days four days and a week and so i was showing actually how this gets configured and so if you come to the multi time frame indicator you can configure whatever time frames you want on these and so it goes all the way from one minute all the way to a month a week a quarter all of that and even a year so depending on your time frame uh you can you can put these at any level the only important thing is they you have to place higher time frames for your configuration so uh, you know the next level would be the lowest row is uh, is a one day chart the next level has to be higher than that which is uh, say a two day the, the 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 third row will be higher than that also the fourth row will be higher than the third and the fifth row will be higher than the fourth so you have a cascading set of time frames here and when all of them are aligned that's when you'll see the master level indicator so once you have this indicator and install it on your thinkorswim platform you set up different charts like i have you know i have i have set up one for day trading one for swing trading things like that and then uh, you can refer to whatever chart and of course you have these filters here the day trading and the swing trading algo which tells you exactly which uh, stocks are bullish which stocks are bearish and all of that and now the markets are going to open in about 3 uh, minutes or so and so what we are going to do is obviously uh, you know because we are doing this live webinar we'll be looking at an intraday uh, chart and you can see all these indicators in action including the spx ticks so today the futures are up about 10 points they were kind of flat earlier but they are up about 10 points and so uh, you know if you were looking for a bullish trade today uh, on the spx let's go back to the uh, multi time frame uh, i mean uh, the the intraday so if you were looking for uh, to take a trade on the on the spx you would want to look at this you would put the tick spx here and you would put the custom rsi and the multi time frame trend now in general as a general rule uh, you know when the once the market's open you want to give it give it a little uh, time i mean uh, you know at least uh, if you're going to be day trading at least about 5 to 10 minutes let it settle down because markets always have to assimilate all the overnight information all the global information all of it and all of that tends to happen in the first few minutes and so you don't want to get caught up in some kind of a whiplash over there so as a general practice you don't want to take a trade uh, right away unless there is some serious momentum coming in uh, you know from the futures which uh, tells you that oh today the market's just going to go berserk on the bullish side in that case then you want to jump right in however uh, most of the time it's not the case most of the times uh, Yeah, you know, there's a little bit of volatility just because it is assimilating all the overnight information, and uh, so we'll do that. We'll uh, we'll look at these, uh, you know, we'll look at these charts, we we'll look at these indicators, and uh, look at how they work. So let me. I got a couple of minutes. Let me just go to the uh, to the presentation, and actually, I've covered all of the indicators. So we'll just wait for the 
markets to open. Meanwhile, if you have questions on any of these, please type it into the chat box. And what we'll do is we'll cover all the questions uh, once we get through uh, with the with the market analysis and actually studying how all these indicators work. So just to uh, uh, just to uh, recap, the combination of all these algos gives you the ability to first of all not do a scan because you can run it on any watch list. So you can have a watch list of 100 stocks, you can have a watch list of 200 stocks, whatever it is. Uh, you can once you maintain, once you create that watch list, uh, you're able to get an immediate visual representation of, of which stocks are bearish, which stocks are uh, bullish right away. Uh, so that's the first thing it does. First of all, you get an idea of the SPX ticks and uh, the ticks will tell you and, and, and there is a zero line for the ticks as well. And so obviously, if, if uh, you know, if, if you're looking for a bullish trade, it would be ideal if the ticks were above the zero line already when you're getting all uh, you know into these trades and if you're looking for a bearish trade it would be below however that's that's not a that's not a rule i mean you can see that even on a bullish day uh, you know you know you had this kind of a move here uh, or you know the ticks were bullish but then you had this nice little bearish move here yesterday uh, towards the close and uh, so you could have taken advantage of this one as well so that's not a hard and fast rule uh, it, you know, sometimes it can be very persistent uh, to the bullish side or to the bearish side, and that's when it really makes uh, sense. Okay, the market has uh, just started. Uh, let's look at um, all the, you know, let's look at this. I would, uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, so the SPX is moving up now. Uh, you can see that the custom RSI is moving into the bullish as well as the multi time frame trend. Uh, you know, it's moved into the bullish. For the ticks, you have to wait for the minute to happen because uh, you know that's when the tick value for that particular minute is done. You'll see a value come through, but uh, you know you want to wait for you want to wait for uh, a little time, and uh, we'll see how uh, these develop here. All right, I see some questions. I can answer it. Meanwhile, can the system used to be set up uh, iron condor? These are indicators, Paul. Uh, you know, these these don't tell you what trade you have to take. I mean, you could you can just buy the stock or uh, you know, selling the stock. Uh, you, you can buy options. You can buy the futures. Uh, you can you can short it. You know, you can do whatever. You can do iron condors. You can do credit spreads. You can do uh, uh, directional positions. Whatever you want. These help you make a trading decision. What trade you're going to take is 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 obviously up to you. So these algos can be uh, set up uh, in other trade tools. No, this works only on on Think or Swim. If you don't have Think or Swim, you can always open. Uh, uh, you know, a minimum balance account with Think or Swim for $100, and uh, that will give you access to real time data. And you can install all these indicators on, on Think or Swim. All right, next, what moving average is used on the chart? I'm using a nine period exponential and a 20 period exponential. Into the algo, it, there are three different uh, there are three different moving averages, and it also looks at the crossing of the moving average. That is important for these algos over here. All right, missed the beginning of the. Did you show how to set up the scan? See, so there are uh, 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 Brian. You can catch up on the beginning of the webinar from the recording, but I'll tell you briefly that there is. You, you can see these columns on my watch list. You know, one is swing trades, one is day trades, and so once you install these algos. It already filters you. It acts as a scan, and uh, you can, uh, you know, you, you you already know which stocks are bullish, which stocks are bearish. Now I'm going to focus on the day trades because we are looking at that. Uh, you know, we are looking at the live markets right now, and so let me just open this up a little bit, and we are looking at the day trades here. So you can see, you know, right now it's saying booking is very bullish on the on the day trades, and Citigroup is very bullish, Mastercard is very bullish. Let's take a look at booking and uh, see why. Uh, it is showing that you can see as soon as it opened, the multi time frame is aligned, uh, the custom RSI is aligned. You cannot look at the SPX ticks because the SPX ticks works only for uh, the uh, for the SPX. So you can see immediately now you don't have to scan because it, it's already telling you that on on the day trading algo you have uh, you know you have booking is uh, is very bullish and looking at the charts you know certainly looks so. Let's look at Costco. And uh, Costco also, yeah, Costco gapped up actually. Costco has gapped up, and so definitely that will come into the bullish category. You can see custom RSI is persistent here, and uh, but you want to wait for a few minutes, obviously. Yeah, recording will be available. Where do I get the algos? I'll be telling you about that, Brian, a little later. Let's just study these indicators for a few more minutes and see how they work. And uh, also, I, I you know at some point I'll go back to the swing trading environment 
and uh, you know we'll we'll look at that as well and see if anything has changed. Now, obviously, in the swing trading environment, we are looking at a uh, you know uh, you know a daily chart, and so obviously these things are not going to change that much. Uh, so you know, in the swing trading environment, if you get into a trade, you want to stay in the trade for a few days, maybe a week, maybe two weeks. So uh, you know, once you, uh, once you get into the trade, now granted, you know if things can change. We all always know that, and this is where your trade management and your risk management will come in. But in general, once all five time frames are aligned, you can expect uh, you know a somewhat decent trend uh, to go on for at least seven to ten bars. In this case, it, it is seven to ten days. However, uh, you know, whatever chart you're looking at, you can expect it to go for about, uh, you know, five to 10 bars at least. Sometimes it can last even more. So here you can see that if you are taking a SPX trade right here on a swing trading basis, you, you know, you're really literally in this trade. And I, and I always say, don't get, uh, you know, phased out just because of one red dot in the middle over here. And that too, it is on the lowest time frame. So. Uh, obviously, the lowest time frames will change quicker than the higher time frames, and so you don't want to get uh, uh, you know pushed out of the trade just because you see one dot. You want to see if the trend continues, and so here actually you would have been in this for about 15 dots, uh, you know, so 15 uh, 15 day SPX trade, uh, you know, if if that's what you you were you were planning to do, and it also works on stocks, and so on the swing trading we can see Microsoft is very bearish. Let's take a look at Microsoft chart. There you go. It is very bearish and you know there's only single dots over here but microsoft has turned bearish it was bullish microsoft was very bullish but i think after their TikTok news um, you know it, it started going down all right can you try to open any other stock not in your list a v g o sure no problem a v g o let's do that that is broadcast i'm sorry what did i do charts okay a v g o so here we go on AVGO, I think it is bullish. However, you've seen just in the last two days on, on a swing trading environment, in the last two days, things are a little shaky. Actually, it's because of this one particular you know, volatile move over here. Uh, but in general, I would say it is in a bullish trend. You can see custom RSI is persistent and it's really not come out of the bullish level at all. So for now, at least AVGO is bullish, um, even though there's two dots, but today you can see that uh, it's changed to one dot. Okay, so this is you know this is how you would uh, uh, take your trading decisions. As I said, first step is whatever trading time frame you're looking at, you filter. Uh, you know, you filter. So, no, uh, there's no target prices. You know, the, the question is, can we also get target price? The target price is when these things start changing, your target has been reached. That's it. Yeah, exactly. The trend. So you know, you have two indicators that tell you that, okay, the trend has changed. One is custom RSI decisively comes out of the bullish zone and into the into the middle. Of course, it will come into the neutral zone first and that might be a time to take it away, especially if you see the two red dots on the on the multi time frame trend indicator, uh, it's time to get, you know, get out. See, if you have a good profit, it's time, you know, you, uh, it, it's always a good idea to take the profit because you can always get in later. You know, if the trend changes, you can always get in later again into the same trade. However, uh, you know, if you see the trend changing, you will see that these indicators will tell you that the trend has changed. And so, uh, you know, you can come out of the trade. So I want to go back to the ES, uh, which is the S&P futures. Uh, let me go back to the uh, intraday because that's really where you're going to see uh, information coming out. So even though the SPX, uh, let's see, where is the SPX? Oh, the SPX has given up some of the gains. You can see now the ticks are basically ticking flat, that, which means out of all the five, uh, 500 stocks, uh, some are ticking up, some are ticking down, but on a cumulative level, you're basically flat on the, on the SPX. So which tells you today, uh, you know, it may not be a great day to trade the SPX. However, you can, uh, you can of course, trade any of these uh, stocks based on the, uh, you know, based on the, based on the day trading column, uh, you know, on these algos. And so now you can see on the multi time frame trend, uh, you, 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 can, you can see two rows are developing bearish right now. Two rows, the, the, the one minute as well as the three minute. So because the second uh, lowest row is the three minute trend. And you can see that also ticking down. So you can see three red dots. Now uh, you want to see, you know, as I said, first few minutes are always tricky. So, you know, you, you don't want to jump into a trade right away. Uh, you, you know, the SPX opened up 10 points, but gave it up. And so, uh, you want to be you want to watch for that and uh, 
uh, you know, take the uh, take the trade once things look a little stabilized. All right. Question like MTFT that custom RSI need a time parameter. No, the custom RSI works on whatever time period of the chart is. And so it works on all time frames. You know, it will work on any time frame. So whatever the chart is, the custom RSI will work on that. What is the length of the custom RSI or is it dynamic? I don't know what you mean by dynamic. It doesn't change. It's got some parameters to it. And, uh, you know, the, I've set the, uh, the, the, the bullish zone to be at 60 and the bearish zone to be below 40. Uh, and custom RSI is also interesting. It gives you these arrows also. So it, these arrows are just telling you, OK, get prepared, get prepared. All right. Uh, you know, it's it's come it's coming out of the bearish zone into the neutral zone. So get prepared for a trade. So it also shows, uh, you know, it, it, it sort of gives you an advance alert signal also as to when, uh, you know, a trend may be developing. And in this case, if you were if you were if you were watching this and you're seeing the ticks, all right, the ticks are going up. Uh, the multi time frame is, uh, is is already aligned here. And then, boom, you can you can jump in on this bullish trade right there. All right, TQQQ, let's try TQQQ. The indicator doesn't care if it's a triple leveraged or a, uh, you know, or a, a double leveraged ETF. It doesn't care if it's gold. It doesn't care if it's gold futures. Uh, the multi time frame trend works on any asset class and any ETF and all of that. So here also you can see uh, the TQQQ is, uh, is developing a bearish sort of thing. Now, when you look at TQQQ, you cannot look at the tick SPX. Now I'm going to show you the configuration of the tick SPX because if you're going to trade the Qs, then what uh, what you can do is the, the the SPX ticks also comes with this. So let me look at the SPX ticks. So you now I have configured it for the SMP tick. Now you can configure it for the Nasdaq tick, and the Nasdaq tick is called tick slash Q. So here this is uh, this is the Nasdaq tick. So it's called the tick C slash Q. You can also configure it for the Dow Jones tick, which is just the dollar tick. OK, so you can con you, you can configure it for all these different indices, depending on what you're trading. So you're trading the NDX rather. You cannot trade uh, you know, stocks based on the tick because the tick works only on indices. Uh, but if you were trading the NDX or the QQQ, then you would put the dollar tick slash Q. So in this case, I'm going to change it to the dollar tick slash Q just to see if there is a big difference. There may not be a very big difference, but here you can see now, in fact, the dollar tick, uh, the tick Q is actually ticking up. OK, the tick Q is actually ticking up. So, you know, you can see that difference over here. So it's slowly started ticking up. So regardless, let me, uh, but the, you know, I would say the SPX ticks uh, are, the, are the most uh, uh, reliable because it goes across 500 stocks. And so, and that you have to do with the tick SP, which is this one right here. So we apply that and then we'll, we'll change that. Because that gives you the best overall, um, you know, that gives you the best overall picture of the broad market. So let's see, nice, so thanks, thanks, Mike. Uh, uh, the question, if you're trading Tesla, will it work with tick Q? Yes, but I would still recommend you use the tick because the tick represents, I mean, the tick SP because the tick SP represents the broadest representation of the US market. And so ultimately Tesla is also correlated to the SPX. And so, uh, you know, all of them, all of the big stocks are. See, anything that's there in the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq 100 will, will uh, most likely be in the SPX also, uh, in, in the S&P 500 also. So your S&P 500 is your big basket and uh, you would want to use that. Now, let's go back to our SPX or the ES futures because uh, really that's what uh, will give us a good idea. Now you can see here, if you look at the ES futures, uh, you can see that on the one minute chart, it is uh, you know obviously ticking down and so it is bearish here. So we've, uh, the ES futures have dropped down by four points. Now you can also change this to a five minute chart. Now, once you change it to a five minute chart, the lowest, uh, you know, the multi time frame will not really be applicable. That's because your time frames have to be higher than five minutes. But even on the five minute chart, you can see the custom RSI is, is down here. And if I change these parameters to let's do that so that you know how to uh, change these. If, if I go for a five minute chart, then what I want to do is I want to set the next highest time frame as 10 minutes and let's say 15 minutes, let's say. Uh, 20 minutes and let's say 30 minutes here. Once you set that up and you apply, now you'll see that the multi time frame works. So basically, the point is 
on the multi time frame indicator the lowest row has to be the time frame of the chart itself and then from there you you go higher so that's what i'm going to jump back into the one minute because we want a quick uh, feedback loop on the uh, you know on the uh, you know on all these indicators so now you can see that uh, you know the, the ticks are also developing and it's come to uh, you know negative 147 we are certainly moved into somewhat of a bearish mode here after the open and uh, so even all the red dots are aligned and so if you were to see here the custom rsi went red over here uh, went dropped into the bearish zone but that's still a little bit early in my opinion once it uh, once you get the confirmation on the multi time frame trend that all five time frames are aligned then what you have is uh, you know a very persistent trend and that's what keeps you in the trade and as long as custom rsi is in the bearish zone you want to stay in this trend because uh, that's what keeps you in the winning trade and the moment that changes you can come out of the uh, trend now i do want to change the parameters back to uh, what i had uh, let me do three minutes five minutes uh, ten minutes because if you're trading off the one minute chart then what you want to do is uh, you know set your other time frames also accordingly and so but i just wanted to show how you could do it and this is how you would do it you can see the ticks are now negative 400 cumulative tick is negative uh, 400 and so uh, you know the obviously a bearish situation setting in and, you know everything is aligned if you had taken a trade even over here once you saw two red uh, on the master level uh, indicator on the multi time frame once you saw two red dots which would be here if you had taken a trade there, you, you could still be riding this trade right now because after that it did not change. There were only two green dots, that two on the lowest time frame, and that's not enough to uh, you know make a trading decision, especially when custom RSI and the ticks are also showing a negative trend here. So I hope uh, this was uh, this was uh, this is helpful, and it doesn't change on the swing trading environment. It doesn't change once you. Uh, you know move up your time frames if you're going to be trading on the daily chart it's the same thing but on the daily chart you cannot expect these signals to change that often and that's the whole point that's why you're in a swing trade because uh, you don't expect to uh, do a uh, day trading environment out of this so uh, you know you want to once you get into a trade you want to stay there and see see where it goes now granted you might have to adjust your trade you might have to uh, you know make some uh, trade management uh, you know adjustments uh, you might have to double down and all of that so uh, you know all the, all that is there you know your standard risk management trade management always uh, will be uh, will be useful here all right so if you have further questions you uh, you can uh, you can type it in i'll come back to it let me go back to the presentation and complete it because uh, i think we've covered what the, how the indicators work now, what I want to tell you is also you can have a complete uh, playlist over here. Uh, you have playlists for MTFT, you have playlists for uh, the SPX algo, you have playlists for the custom RSI, and as well as all, all our swing trades. I do run a swing trade signal service, as many of you may know. Uh, and so there's a YouTube playlist for that as well. And of course, you can always uh, email us at info at optiontiger.com. So let me show you, tell you how to get uh, this uh, offer. This says April. I think that's when I last ran it and I haven't changed it. I, I run these specials every now and then. The multi time frame indicator alone goes for 24.97. These are, you know, it's a very sophisticated indicator. It's a, you know, you get what you see in the sense that it's so visual that it makes your trading decision no brainer. The ticks are 9.97. The swing trading algo itself is 9.97. The day trading algo is 9.97. Custom RSI is 4.97. I do run these specials a couple of times a year. So for one price, which is $24.97, you're going to get the MTFT, you're going to get the SPX ticks, you're going to get the swing trading algo, day trading algo, as well as the custom RSI indicator. So you're going to get all of that. So totally put together, this on my website is about $6,000, but you're getting it for about 60% off. Uh, you know, it's a 60% off deal. And this is not, you know, April obviously is over. This is valid until the end of September this month. So this, uh, you know, this special is there for this month. Uh, you have uh, 12 days and for one price of $24.97, you can get all of these uh, indicators uh, for, the, for, for that price itself. So all of these are thrown in as freebies. And um, so uh, it's, it's great value because, you know, just if you do two or three good trades, the, you can make up your investment, uh, you know, just from that. 
And if you're doing day trading, you, you can make 500 to a thousand dollars on on a daily basis. Of course, it all depends what your account size is and all of that. I'm saying even if you trade a uh, you know a, a a sort of a medium sized account about 40 to 50 thousand dollars, you can make about 500 to a thousand just in uh, you know in one day itself. Uh, and of course, if the signal changes, then you have to get to your standard trade management, standard risk management principles, whether it is uh, converting it to a debit spread, whether it is converting it to a credit spread, whatever it is, uh, whatever you normally do for your trade management. And of course, all my max courses and all covers all of that. So if you're interested in a more comprehensive package, which includes all the max products and I can give a highly discounted price, uh, you know, as long as you bundle the MTFT and this whole special into it, uh, where you get all these algos, uh, we can do we can do something custom. So basically, if you have any custom needs, uh, please do send us an email, and uh, you know we'll we'll answer that and we'll take care of whatever your needs are. Uh, uh, you know, suppose you're not into day trading, then what will you do with the SPX ticks? Because the SPX ticks will work only on uh, the uh, you know only on the um, on the day trading charts. And so we'll, we'll pull that out and we'll adjust the price. So whatever your needs are, we can adjust it accordingly. All right. So basically, if you wanted to make uh, this payment, you can, uh, you know, you have, uh, yeah. Okay. Good question, Don. Uh, is training provided? Yes. All of these comes with a, a detailed uh, course uh, on, you know, on the website. So let me just show you that website as well. Let me go to courses. Uh, you know, you'll see the curriculum here. And you know, all of these are training videos. So for each of these algos, you'll see a training video there, and uh, you know, training videos there for each of these algos over there. So let me get this out of the way and let's go back to the platform. Let me just finish this off over here. And so if, if you wanted to get this deal, uh, info at optiontiger.com. If you want to, uh, uh, you know, customize the deal a little bit uh, to, uh, you know, take something out, put something in, uh, please send us an email at info at optiontiger.com. And, and, and the email is also the same for the PayPal. So if you go to PayPal and just uh, make the payment to this email, that will work. And uh, here are some, uh, you know, some, some testimonials. People have used uh, these indicators. Uh, you can uh, read it. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but Here's uh, Todd over here said made uh, made about twelve hundred. Here is uh, Craig uh, made a small trade I guess using uh, uh, yeah he made three hundred using four hundred dollars uh, in equity. Uh, love your indicators there. And here's uh, Aruna here had stayed in made twelve hundred dollars uh, and things like that. So uh, lots of good uh, you know good feedback on these indicators also. And uh, so uh, I'll leave it over here. Let's go back to the platform and see what the markets are doing. Uh, yeah, is it one-time investment? Yes, it is one-time investment and you get all your indicators and uh, you get any updates if there are, uh, you know, any updates to the to the algos itself and uh, it, it is lifetime access, that's it. All right, let's see, some little bit of turn, you know, turnaround. And so if you were in a bearish trade over here, you know, and then you see the custom RSI is still in bearish zone, but it's, you know, it's, it's trying to pop its head out. The MTFT, Two, uh, you know, two green dots over here. The uh, SPX ticks ticking up a little bit. So in this case, if you saw this and you wanted to get out of this trade because you know it is moving higher, yeah, sure, why not? Why not? You've captured a good part of the trend. Uh, you know, it, it's time to get out. So these are little bit subjective decisions that you can make based on the situation. Sometimes you'll see that even though these things may show. Now you can see on the multi time frame trend, you have two rows that is telling you the trend is changing. So here's a clear shot. If you were in doubt as to whether you want to get out, now you've seen two dots and, and you want to wait for this indicator. Uh, you know, you want to wait for this indicator to close. Okay, so because the final color, whether it's green or red, will only be determined after the bar is over. And then the ticks are ticking down. The custom RSI is still in bearish, but you know, let's wait and see how this bar ends and see what the MTFT does there. If the market goes down a little bit, it could change back to red. However, so far it has not. So let's see. All right, that bar is over. So custom RSI briefly said that. And here also now you can see even this one has two dots over here, right? Even this one has two dots. If you want to get out of the trade, you can get out. Also looking at it visually, you know, it, it may come back down. We don't know. The, the ticks are certainly ticking higher. Uh, custom RSI is still in bearish, but MTFT is in, it's got two green dots. And so it's MTFT is telling you on two different time frames, 
uh, the trend could be changing. All right, it's uh, well, it's you know, doing a live trade in this example, I, I'll be forcing a trade right now. You know, there is no trade on this at least over here because if there was a trade, you know, it would be over here. Uh, we could have taken a we could have taken a bearish trade there, uh, and that would have been the trade. But here, there is no trend yet, and in fact, uh, you can see MTFT. Nothing is aligned over here right now. Uh, do you trade with the system? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we also use this in our in our swing signal services. Uh, we I use the the swing charts, and uh, my and and our subscribers they get the advantage of uh, of uh, doing this. It repaints up to like one bar or, or maybe the previous bar. Okay, uh, 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 that sort of internal calculation happens. So, but it'll certainly repaint the the current bar absolutely because if the current bar is not is not uh, over it, it can be repainted and, and that should make sense but if the current bar makes a significantly different move from the previous bar it can repaint the previous bar also so here we go so now you know trend is changing rs custom rsi is saying here this green arrow is saying you can get ready for this trade you can get ready for a bullish trade not quite obviously you can get ready for a bullish trade you want to you know you want to make sure that the trend is is getting set properly before uh, you take that kind of a trade, but this is how basically it will work. And um, so today, being you know, the SPX is down, uh, you know, ES is down 10, uh, 10 points and a half. So would you be looking for a bullish trade at this point in the market? I don't think so. If if anything, you want to wait for a bearish trade because you're aligning uh, your trade with the sentiment of the day, at least sentiment currently. It, it may it may not remain the sentiment of the day. Uh, you know that can change. But at least currently, the sentiment is bearish and the cumulative ticks, even though they're showing green over here, it is negative 413. And uh, so obviously it is uh, a, a negative day and therefore you want to wait for a change. Now see this on, on the multi time frame, uh, you know, it, it, uh, it, it, it changed back to one dot. So obviously, you know, that kind of things uh, uh, are extremely helpful. Custom RSI is turning back, ticks are also going negative. So now, what you want to do is wait for uh, the alignment on all of these uh, to show that that you can take a bearish trade. So if all five MTFTs, uh, you know, time frames, uh, you know, they align to the bearish side and then you do a uh, and you're looking at the ticks, they're going down and you're looking at the custom RSI, it has entered the bearish zone. That would be a decent time to take a bearish trade. Uh, you, you might want to wait for a bar or two also if you want a little bit more conviction at the end of the day. You can jump in early or you can jump in late. Jumping in early obviously has a little bit of risk to it because it, things can change. Jumping in when things are set is obviously safer, but then your profit, uh, you know, what do you call it? your profit range is also going to be uh, uh, lessened because you, you know you've you've not jumped at uh, the opt. I won't call it the optimal time. You've not jumped in early. So early jumping works sometimes, but it may not work. Uh, I, I think as a general, uh, you know, standard uh, practice. You, know, you wait for two or three of these dots and then you can be a little you can have a little more conviction with this i agree with you if you check any indicator it would match but when we are in real market nothing is working here i'm showing you in the real market how we could have you could have taken a trade a bearish trade once these you know once these are aligned the, once the mtfts are aligned across five different time frames that is about the best indicator you can get that is about the best indicator you can get yeah, time frames are completely customizable. Time frames are completely customizable, and you can change that to anything. So I have a day trading chart. I have a uh, you know swing trading chart, uh, which I've programmed it to be a long-term investing chart also. So if you're looking at a one-year chart, if you wanted to be in a trade for two, three months or so, then you would put it as a one-year chart or a two-year chart. So that's how you will come here. Here we go. You know, three rows have aligned. Ticks are improving. Uh, you know, they're still negative, but they're you know, but they're improving. Custom RSI has entered into the bullish zone. Now, question, do you want to take an early jump in trade over here and go to the bullish side? I would not recommend it because simply because it's a bearish day. And so, uh, you know, if it was on the bearish side, I, I might recommend even though all five are not aligned, I would still wait for at least four of them to be aligned uh, on the multi time frame before you jump in. So these are things that you'll have to decide for yourself as to when you want to jump in, whether you know you want to jump in a little early and uh, try to maximize and maybe get out. But jumping in early, obviously, could create a whiplash in your trade. And so you would, you would want to be careful of that. So those are subjective decisions that uh, you know each person can make based upon their uh, uh, their trading style.
So this is how it would work. Now let's go take a look at uh, some, uh, you know, okay, Chipotle has come into very bullish. Let's see what Chipotle is doing. All right, there we go. Chipotle has moved into bullish. You can see uh, now you have uh, 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 persistent dots for about uh, five or six bars here. Uh, you can't look at the ticks because the ticks works only on index, but look at the custom RSI. It's persistent. Uh, so basically, you know, that's, you know, this is how you would do. You, you want to, you, you can use the day trade algo and the swing trade algo to filter out your stocks because, you know, it acts like a scanner. And then once you have the scan and you suddenly see something jump into the very bullish, oh, oh you know, that's great. And so, uh, you know, that would be the time to get in. So Chipotle, obviously, we missed it for a few bars. But, uh, you know, obviously, you know, I think from somewhere here, Chipotle, uh, somewhere here, uh, Chipotle went into the very bullish. And so now you can see if you had got in around the 1235 level, you would be at 1241 right now. All right, folks. So if you have any other questions, you can certainly email us and I'd be happy to answer all of, all of your questions. Let me just go back to the presentation. Uh, all these indicators are a visual indicator. So it, it makes your trading decision as simple as, it, as you can make it. Uh, and with the help of these two or three uh, you know, with the help of, first of all, these uh, uh, watch list columns uh, filters the stocks for you. And then with these indicators, uh, it just makes your trading decision very visual and also very simple in the sense that you, it tells you when to enter. It tells you when to exit. So this, these are about some of the most, uh, you know, uh, what to say, easy uh, tools to uh, to use, but they're extremely powerful. They're extremely powerful. So let me go to the uh, presentation here and just wrap it up. So this is the email address, info at optiontiger.com. If you have any questions, you can email us. If you want to make a PayPal purchase, you can also use the same email or you can use this link, which is kind of long. The simplest way is to just uh, you know email it to info at optiontiger.com. Uh, and the special is valid till the end of September. And for $24.97, you get all of these algos so that you get a complete algorithmic uh, you know, algorithmic set of tools to help you with your trading. So uh, anyway, uh, yeah, thanks, guys. Uh, thanks for coming. If you have any further questions, uh, you know, please uh, email us info at optiontiger.com. Have a great morning and we'll and have a great weekend, too. And uh, we'll speak to you soon. If you have any questions, info at optiontiger.com. Thanks.